Hey all, it's Rebecca here from A Motorhome Life of Hank and Marvin. I've been nominated by the wonderful Doolittle Campers to do the 40 question challenge. And I think it's a great opportunity to get to know people on more of a personal level. So without further ado, let's get going um, with number one. Do I like blue cheese? Yes, absolutely love blue cheese. It is one of my favorites with a glass of pour and some walnuts. Oh my gosh, the flavors that you get in your mouth when you've got the kind of the leftover satin feel of the cheese and then the warmth of the port and then that bitterness of the of the of the walnut. Oh, it's just gastronomy. It's heaven. Absolutely heaven. Number two, Coke or Pepsi? I'm a Coke girl. <laughs> I prefer Diet Coke, actually. Um, I don't know, I think the aspartame is something that I've grown up with, that I do like that. If I feel as though I'm kind of sluggish in, in a, and the coffee and the coffee isn't working, then yes, I will have a Diet Coke. Am I in a relationship? No, I am currently single. Number four. Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Well, whiskey, um, I kind of grew up with whiskey from my dad. You know, if I was poorly, I would have whiskey, marmalade, and some warm water, and kind of, you know, I'd be probably pissed the next morning, I'd be fine. So don't really like the idea of drinking whiskey as a point of uh, social time. Tequila, no, no. I think the first time I drank tequila, I got so heavily drunk that um, it's one of those ones that's burnt me. I will not drink again. I might have, if, I'm, it, is, if it is forced upon me of like a, a hen do or something, I may participate in a tiny tickle of tequila. But other than that, no, no, totally vodka. Love a bit of vodka. It's one of those flavorless drinks, really. I think my, but my drink is spiced rum. I do prefer spiced rum. Uh, where are we? Number five, hot dog or cheeseburger? Cheeseburger, get it in there. Ow. Big bite, let it all spew down your face, all over your top. Make sure you're not wearing white because honestly, I spill everything. So I never, and I hardly ever wear white when it comes to eating cheeseburgers. Well, I know I am. And then you've got that additional cheese that melts. And then you've got the gherkins in there, the onions in there, a little bit of salad in there on a soft bun. Um, love that. Love it when it falls to bits on your face. My favorite food, number six, is Thai. I love Thai. I love the vegetables. I like seafood and I love spice. Indian would probably be my close second, um, but it does, it can be a little bit stodgy. Whereas Thai, it's light, it's refreshing, makes my nose run. And yeah, that, that zinginess, zinginess in it that you get with the lemongrass and the chili. Oh, amazing. Not a big rice fan. Don't mind a noodle. Don't mind a noodle. Um, what do you drink in the mornings? Number seven. Uh, I drink coffee and I drink way too much of it. I'm drinking it now. Um, my cutoff is about seven o'clock. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do drink too much, too much coffee. Never been a tea fan. I do try the herbal teas. My daughter tried to get me in on some herbal teas, but um, and no, they just don't do it. I is yeah, and Red Bull. Oh my god, I, I shake and everything from Red Bull. But I do think that I need to stop drinking or cut down the amount of coffee that I do have. So yeah, maybe that could be a new year, a new year thing. Uh, number eight, can you do 100 push-ups? No, not at all. I could probably do, um, I could probably muster six. <laughs> I was going to say 10 then, but even when I was really fit, I could barely do 10. 100, I don't know. Do we, I, I'm not actually going to try and do it, the, the attempt of me doing it. Number one, there isn't enough space in here. And, and two, I, I know I can't, <laughs> I can't. Um, I know I can definitely do two. I can definitely, without a doubt, do two. I think I may be pushing it for six. So let's go for four. Yeah, four sounds good. I like four, four. 
Number nine, favorite season. I love all the seasons. Obviously summer, it's gotta be summer. I like any season, providing it doesn't rain. Uh, rain is probably the only type of weather that I just don't like. You know, I don't mind if it's cold, as long as it's not wet and cold. I don't mind if it's windy, as long as it's not wet and windy. Um, you know, I don't like it wet. Um, but yeah, summer would have to be, I used to like autumn actually, but then I got into wearing lots of nice boots with leggings and all, when all the wet leaves are on the ground, you can slip over and yeah, I've slipped over before and hurt my coccyx. So um, autumn's probably not my greatest month. Winter, it's just cold. It's all it is in winter now. It doesn't really snow anymore. Um, spring is beautiful to see the flowers come out, but yeah, summer. Summer's got to be my favorite, definitely. Number 10, favorite hobby, drinking. <laughs> Well, I loved, well, I like socializing. I used to do a lot more socializing than what I'm doing now. Um, but then I had, I had an episode in my life that I kind of closed myself away. So I'm bringing myself back out of my shell again. And I think it's wonderful that I'm able to do that with you, with this idea of doing, having it, having a camera. And I think that that just helps all the more as well. So, um, favorite hobby would definitely be socializing socializing i i sing i do sing i used to sing in a in um i've taken part in a five-year um drama theatrical group that where we've traveled we've toured around the uk and uh, we did a six-week tour in amsterdam we did nepal and um you know so i do like the theatrical side uh and singing music you know that's that's, I love that. Um, but yeah, my, my favorite is just getting to know people, chatting, socializing, talking. I like it. Listening, I like it. Tattoos, yes, I have lots of tattoos. I originally started with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Was that, was that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah, so I had ten tattoos. I now only have one, I've got to try to think, one, two, three. Well, two, three and a half because one's going through the process. I had a load removed because I was stupid enough that I had my first tattoo when I was 15 at school, thinking I'm big and clever and everything. You know, I've e I even show my tattoo off in one of my school photos. Very rebellious when I was at school, very rebellious. Um, I was a little bit of a little bit of a bugger, but um, yes. So a uh, bit of vanity. I've got a big one across my scar along my belly. I had that done recently. And I'm absolutely mortified because the guy that did it, um, I looked at all his work, his work looked fantastic. I spoke to some of the people that had work from him and they were pleased with what they had done. And then when he, I had work done and I sat up and looked at it, I was absolutely mortified because it's such a big area and it looks like a 1980s tattoo. It's just rubbish. Um, I think he's, I can't even remember his name now, Benny or something very very bad can't do anything about it unfortunately but yeah so I need to get this one corrected the one on my ankle the rest of that removed so it'll just be one two three it would just be three then number 12 do you wear glasses no no my eyesight is very good um I used to have glasses for uh, reading but then I don't know I think my eyes have corrected themselves over the years not not 100% sure but um no, don't need any of that. Phobias, 13. Yes, wasps, wasps. I'm petrified of wasps. I was, I've had a few episodes with wasps that's created this phobia. Um, the first one, uh, my dad was a plumber, so we had lots of different things in the garden and we had this great big water butt and my brother and I was playing in it and he would get in and I'd roll him down the garden and then I would get in and my brother would roll me down the garden. And as 
I got in, a couple of wasps got in with me. And as he was rolling me, I was screaming because I'm getting stung. I'm getting spit the hell out of. And he thought I was just enjoying myself going, yeah! And I really, I was going, help! So yeah, I can understand how the two sounds the same, but yeah. And then I I can remember putting my, my bare foot in my shoe and there was a wasp in there and it stung my foot. And I remember a bee flying straight into my eye that I had to peel out of my eye. So yeah, things, buzzy things. St spiders don't really bother me that much. Apart from wolf spiders, because spiders, they chase after you, don't they? So in Exeter, um, I had a tree outside an apple tree and I was having a barbecue and this wasp was buzzing about so much that it got in my face. And the worst thing was, this was probably seven years, six, six years ago, I pushed my daughter out the way, ran into the kitchen, shut the kitchen door and she's banging on the door going, mom, let me in, let me in. I'm like, no, no, I wouldn't let her in. <laughs> I wouldn't let her in. Um, yeah, I was mortified, shaking and everything. So yes, um, I don't like wasps. <laughs> Nicknames, Bex, Becca. Don't like the name Becky. I just don't like it. Um, for me, I was called Becky at school and I was bullied at school. So it just, it's quite triggering. So I don't like the name Becky, but Bex, Becca, Rebs, I've been called Rebs. Don't mind that. Number 15, favorite candy, favorite sweet. What's my favorite sweet? Um, oh gosh, I'm not really a sweet tooth, to be honest. I've never been that fussed with sweets. Um, I prefer savory, really. Um, but I suppose a, a candy, a sweet. Uh, I like Werther's Original, I guess. They're nice. Or toffee. You know, the little cu cups of toffee with the bit of chocolate and hazelnut. There we go. We'll do toffee. I like toffee. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, absolutely. Um, I've had some... My partner was killed last year and I've had lots of different things, lots of different signs that have come from him. And... Um, so there was a situation where there was an argument on the phone and um, when I put the phone down and stood up in the middle of my front room, underneath my light, the whole area was cold and it sounded, when I spoke, it sounded like an electric synthesizer. And, um, and it, it has happened a few times and I, I presumed that that was when Colin was angry or upset. Um, this kind of area just became like electrically charged. Um, so yes, yes, I do, do believe in ghosts. Um, 17, biggest downfall. What's my biggest downfall? I, I'm very quick to, I'm, I'm quite, I can quite, I can be in your face. Uh, I'm very energetic. So I've got, I've got a mild ADHD. So um, I'm constantly always on the go, uh, which doesn't always help because I, I have to remind myself to take a breath and pause. So sometimes I don't think before I speak and I just go blah, 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 and charge in. So that's probably, probably my biggest downfall. Uh, and obviously COVID, <laughs> obviously COVID, it's stopping my tour, God damn it. 18, rain or snow, snow without a doubt. You can't build anything in the rain. You can build snowmen with snow, can't build anything with rain. Um, and it's wet, uh, like seriously wet. I know snow is still wet, but I don't know, you have, you get more wet with rain. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. <laughs> yeah, I like snow, snowball fights. Um, snow angels, make sure you avoid the yellow snow. Yes, definitely snow. Piercings, number 19. I've had loads of piercing, piercings. I've had my eyebrow done. I've got my nose done. I've had my tongue done. It's just like, that's, that's old school nowadays. I had my lip done. I've got a lot, I've got lots in my ears. I've got my, 
I've got my whatever that's called. Is it my trait? I don't know. And then I've got one here. Never had my boobs done. I've had my belly done. I've even had down there done. I have had down there done, but I had to remove it. And I'm not getting into the reasons why that had to go. Um, 20 age, I'm 40. I am, I've reached a middle milestone, which I'm pleased at. And um, yeah, 40 years old, life begins. All my children are, are grown now. So um, I'm starting to enjoy life for myself, which is great. Um, French fries or onion rings? Oh, now it depends on the flavor of French fries. Um, I love onion rings. I, the cheaper the onion ring, the better I find. I find it's got more flavor in it, but it does have a high sugar content. Um, but French fries, Worcester sauce, flavored French fries are just amazing. That's a really tough question. I'm gonna have to go with onion rings because I can eat more of them. I get more of them for my money. <laughs> I do, because it's Walker's is expensive, whereas cheap onion rings, I can get a bag of six cheap onion rings for the same price as one bag of French fries. Kids, yes, question 22. I have two children, age 20, 21. My girl is 20, my boy is 21. They're both grown up, one's at uni, uh, one's finding himself, and um, they're all, yeah. They, they've got their own places, they're doing what they do. That's boy, girl, job done. No more, I'm happy days. 23, favorite color, it's purple. Um, don't, I will, don't know if you would ever, ever know that, but it's purple. <laughs> Love purple. Um, I don't know, I just find it very sexy. I find it very relaxing. Um, it's just a great, it's just a great color look, purple. Um, can you sing 24? Yes, I can. Um, I used to do national karaoke competitions when I was younger. I was in a rock band for three years. And then, like I said earlier, I'm in a musical theatrical group uh, where we, we're on, we're on a break at the moment because we're hopefully going to be turning it into a film in the next year or so. Uh, so it's all hush hush. Can't tell you any more about that. 25, can you whistle? Yes. But the weird thing is, is when I whistle, I kind of do it lopsided. <laughs> I whistle one-sided. Can I do it in the middle? <laughs> but I can whistle quite loud. And then I can do every one of those. And I say that. <laughs> Well, I can, I've got lipstick all over me now, but yes, I can whistle. Love is like, shut up. <laughs> Where were you born? I was born in Nottingham. Born in Nottingham, I was here till I was 23. Then I moved to Devon till I was 20, till I was 35. And then I moved to London. Uh, yeah, I, I've kind of grew away from Nottingham. So I, not the city center, but like Nottinghamshire. So more of a bit of a country area. So yeah, it's nice, but I would never move back. I would never live here again. Apart from the fact that I am living here under lockdown at the moment. Um, were you brought, right, 27 siblings. Yes, I've got two sisters, two brothers. Don't see either of my brothers. I've got one, um, one full brother, one half brother. My full brother is not a nice person we've never really got on so um yeah issues when we were younger fighting and things so i don't speak to him my older brother uh refused to um refused to accept my existence on facebook due to his father-in-law so uh but happy to email me behind the scenes and i said you know um, no, if you're not willing to accept me as your sister publicly, then what's the point? So I said, no, my sister, I've got a sister who lives in Cyprus. She's awesome. Um, she's my older sister. And then my, my sister that's close to me. Um, yeah, she's, she's brilliant. We've gone on holidays a lot together. She's, she's, she's been a 
uh, a big role model for me when I was growing up. Um, yeah, I, yeah. So yes, lots of siblings. Can you cook? Absolutely, yes. Of course, I can cook. Love it. Lamb's my my favourite with dolphin noir potatoes, steamed vegetables. Um, you know, I like I like seafood. I like to cook Thai. I like to cook Italian. I love cooking. Do not like cleaning. That's the one thing. The deal that I do is I cook whoever they clean. That's the that's the rule. Uh, can, number twenty nine. Can you swim? Yes. I've got medals for swimming. Um, I used to do swimathons, 5,000 meter swimming uh, for charity. I've met Duncan Goodhue. I used to do javelin. I'm also very good with lots of sports. I've got sports for hockey, badminton, basketball. Um, I'll try and think now. Hockey, badminton, basketball, and no, yeah, and swimming. No, that's it. And then obviously I've got a trophy for chess when I used to play chess years and years ago. This is like 30 years ago. Um, am I religious? Question 30. No, I'm not. Um, I do believe that there is an energy that we kind of leave behind uh, but in the sense of God or anything else. Not really, no. Um, just because I don't believe in it doesn't mean that I would um, refuse somebody else's faith in that sense. So, you know, each to their own. Question 31, shower or bath? Shower. Number one, I don't have a bath. But two, I don't like soaking in my own filth. <laughs> I just don't do it. I, I mean, when I've done baths before, I'll get in it and a few minutes later I'm out. I don't need a bath. I like a shower. I like to feel that heat soaking on my body. I like to feel hot and bothered. I like to get red. Uh, so yes, a shower. 32, big city or out in nature? Both. Do you know, I've lived in London. I've lived at the Isle of Dogs, Canary Wharf, very hustly bustly. Um, and then I love the fact that nature, uh, it, you know, it doesn't matter to me where I live. It's who I'm with that I think makes the difference for me. Um, 33, am I a good friend? I would consider myself as a good friend. In fact, I would consider myself as a great friend. I'm honest, I'm down to earth experienced a lot of things for my years so I can always give some great advice um I can keep a secret which is really important and um yeah I listen I'm caring um I I will always be there if I can if I can help in any way then I will be there broken bones never a broken bone I fractured a finger when I was playing cricket and I was bowling over a car when I was young and fractured my finger. Um, yeah, my all my dad did was got a spoon and strapped me up to a spoon. That was what we did back then. Uh, 35, how many TVs do you own? Well, I've got the one small TV in here that I use as a monitor for my PC. Um, it's a D, it's got a DVD player on it, but I've, I've kind of watched all my DVDs now. So I just use it as a second monitor. It's only, what is it, a 15 inch? <laughs> I don't watch TV anymore. I don't listen to the radio. Um, 36, worst pain ever. I think the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life was the loss of my partner. I think um, it's just, it's, it's, in, it's indes indescribable. Um, I think the only way I could the only way I could, um, worst pain ever. The only way I could, a thing that I could put it down to is that when he died, half of me died too. And feeling that lost and empty and hollow is not a nice feeling. Having a, needing an excuse to get up in the morning um, is, not having, should I say, not having an excuse to get up in the morning is, is quite tragic for somebody like myself who's always been quite busy. Um, you know, I've given birth to two children. I've had tattoo laser surgery. Um, I've had surgery. It's, um, yeah. 
that that emptiness it takes time it's still there still still painful now so losing your soulmate is probably number 37 uh do you like to dance i do like to dance i don't really get i don't really get an opportunity to do so not publicly so i will potter about in the van until the van shakes too much and something falls off and then i don't i stop <laughs> but i do i do like to dance yes 38 do you like camping love camping love getting dirty love rolling on the grass and having fires and your clothes stinking of smoke and yeah i love camping 39 are you weird possibly to somebody possibly to somebody else you know i don't i don't like the term normal because somebody's normal is not normal to somebody else there is no such thing as normal you cannot classify uh normal into anything it's so you know somebody could be weird to, to to me that that's their normal so what is weird what is normal um would i class myself as weird i'm unusual i would say i'm unusual um yeah i like that that's a better word and 40 who am i nominating well i've just made friends with these guys on instagram um, so I'm going to nominate Find Us Camping. It's a couple called Jimmy and Lisa, and they are focused on giving RV reviews, keto, keto recipes, and anything camping related. So I'm going to nominate Find Us Camping. Um, please follow their page and sign up with Instagram and everything like that. But Thank you so much to Do Little Campers for nominating me for the 40, 40 question challenge. I'm sorry it's taken so long, folks, uh, especially with it just being me as well. But um, I've had a wonderful time. I hope that this has given you an insight to get to know me a bit better. And if there's anything else that you'd like to know, feel free to send me a question because I would like to answer some questions for people. Um, you know, if you're getting if you're just starting into the motorhome world and you're a solo traveler whether you're male or female or you just want to know more about stuff then please do send me a question and i'll i'll put them all together for a video at the end of every week thank you so much bye <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow our adventures thanks for watching